horror in Old Joswang as armed men stormed this property housing a family and their auto spare parts a business. The burglars, as you can see, ransacked the property, finding anything valuable they can steal. When they came in on Saturday evening, the homeowner, of course, was around with his three daughters. They were allegedly tortured and, in fact, shots were fired in the air, breaking the girls and forcing them to lead the thieves where exactly the money was. In monetary value, we have been told that they have been able to get away with a staggering amount of 16 million Gambian dollars. A burglary in the town of Old Joswang has left many in the community gobsmacked amid a surge in thievery, murder, among all the criminal activities in the country. The Burji family woke up to their worst nightmare on the night of May 15, when armed men stormed their property, which houses them and their auto spare parts a shop, leaving with an approximate whooping amount of 16 million Gambian dollars. A group of six men allegedly forced their way into the burglar-proofed house after breaking one of the windows. Starting from the family's residence upstairs, the burglars ransacked the entire apartment looking for anything valuable they could steal. The head of the family, identified as Walid Burji, was home at the time of the incident with his three daughters. Walid Burji recalled shots being fired in the air, bounded, gagged and mercilessly beaten by the armed men. They started, actually we were watching TV and then when the series finished we decided to go to bed. So we turned off the lights, we turned off everything, and we entered. I wanted to use the restroom. I entered into the restroom, I started hitting no uh, hearing noise. So my daughter came next to the door and she said, Dad, are you hearing this noise? I said, yes. I said, do you know from where it is? She said, no. And then suddenly she screamed and someone opened fire. Then I jumped from the toilet. I opened the door of the toilet, the guy was straight in front of me. I closed the door again, I locked the door. I called my son, but he didn't answer. But I pretended that he was, I was, I'm telling him, come, there is thieves, there is people in the house. The burglars became enraged at Walid's attempt to scare them off. And that was when the assault on him and his daughters began. They entered, they started hitting me. They started hitting my daughters. The, mostly they were hitting on me because my daughters, they just touched them a little bit. And they started throwing everything from the cupboard. They found some money in my daughter's cupboards, about $20,000, plus their gold, they took it. The rage did not stop as the armed robbers had a bigger plan in mind, which was to access the safe in the shop where hard currencies were being kept. But first, they will have to overpower the male in the house by torturing him, forcing one of the daughters to use her survival instincts, leading them exactly where the cash was. They tried to drag me downstairs. Then they saw that I was pulling and pushing with them. Then they brought me in again. They uh, took my watch. They took my phone. The first phone, actually, when he opened the door of the toilet, he took the door. He took the phone from me, but I had the second phone, which they didn't know. So when they were pushing and pulling and we went outside, they were even forcing my daughters to eat artificial fruits, plastic fruits. They said they should eat it. Then they wanted to drag me downstairs. I was pushing and pulling with them. Then they brought me back inside. They slowly taped my daughter's mouth with her hands and they started hitting me. Then my daughter gave them signs that she will lead them to the safe because she, she was not happy with what they were doing to me. So she led them downstairs, they opened the safe, they cleared everything. Whilst everyone tries to wrap their head around what happened, some are left wondering how the armed men made it to the property even when it was burglar proofed with cameras mounted on every angle. Five, six people, some stayed with us, some went downstairs, and some were even down. They had a car, they had everything. They even turned the cameras, they even took the decoder, they, they removed the whole uh, DVD, the recorders, recording system for the CCTV. They cut the wires, they removed everything. And then 
there was my wife's phone which they did not take because they took my daughter's three daughters they took their phone plus my two phones because the second phone they didn't take it but when they went down with my daughter another guy was standing outside so i thought he was not near i tried to call my brother to tell my brother to come over he saw me trying to call he came he hit me again and he took the phone from me then one day left there was my wife's phone which was in the sitting room so i called the police i called my brother and all of them came and we started the investigation and then we started we decided to forward the matter to you people ask in monetary value how much the burglars got away with while it burji dropped the shocker in terms of monetary value how much do you think they got away with they went with the watch also the watch has a value and they went with some gold and they went with some dollars they went with dollars and euros and say far if you want to put them equivalent to dollars they are almost equivalent about 16 million walid burji said crime has become prevalent in the country adding that recent times and trends have become scary it's becoming very 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 serious if these people can come break your bogola proof and enter into your house while you are awake and bring ions with them and threaten you hit you these people they might even come during the day if well the pistol he had maybe it's not a real pistol maybe it's an artificial pistol but it looks like a real pistol it sounds like a real pistol but i didn't see any hole in the walls that's why i assume it was artificial maybe it's a rubber bullet or whatever but in the future these people will start coming in with real weapons and it will be more dangerous for tfn news review i am sajeprito